In our previous C++ example, we found the area of a circle with a defined radius. We then outputted that information to the screen. However, having a defined radius is kind of limiting in its practicality. So we want to look at how do we take input from the user using the console. So first thing we're going to do is common out our radius. We now need to get the radius from the user. In previous languages like Python, you might have used an input command, which both sends information to the console to prompt the user and gets the input from the user. However, C++ requires us to do this in two different steps. So our first step is to use a cout command, and then we're going to use the cin command in order to get the input from the user. Now a cin is short for console in or console input, and what we're going to do is we are going to get information from the user and send it to a variable. So I'm going to use cin and two greater than symbols or right hand angle brackets if you prefer. And I'm going to specify that it's going to be sent to the radius. Now, in languages like Python or JavaScript, which are not typed, we would have to convert radius into a number to make sure that it's worked this way. However, because we've already identified radius as a type double, C++ has done this conversion for us, and it's going to work automatically. I'm going to save this real quick and run the debugger. Please provide the radius for us to use is now comes up. I'll put in 12. And it gives me the area of a circle for a radius of 12 is and now the answer. So because we use the previous information as far as the radius and area variables, the only thing I had to change was the input. I'm going to run this one more time and see what happens if we put in a value that's not a numeric piece of data. So I'm going to try something like radius. Notice that radius a string. What happens? It tried to be converted into a number. It could not happen, and therefore it had the value of zero. And we perform the calculation with that value. Now, a nice thing about using radius as a double is it allows us to enter in a numeric value. So if I said 15.6 and enter, it will take this information and it will give us a good value based upon that decimal value that we gave it. So that's how we create a slight modification to our program simply by asking for user input using the CN command.